हेलो एंड वेलकम टू शारदा टीवी दिस इज मुस्कान गोयल विद कैमरा मैन अभिषेक पांडे एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ स्मॉल कैंपेन ऑन मैंसुरल हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन एज वी ऑल नो दैट ट्वेंटी एट्थ मे इज द मैंसुरल हाइजीन डे वर्ल्ड मैंसुरल हाइजीन डे एंड फर्स्ट वी वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आर ओन डिपार्टमेंट शारदा स्कूल ऑफ मीडिया फिल्म एंड एंटरटेनमेंट that uh, we are going to take a few interviews from our own faculty so first up we have dr shrinkla upadhyay with us and i would like to ask her a few questions about the menstrual health and hygiene so ma'am what are your opinions about uh, men knowing about menstrual health right thank you so much for the question and uh, about men knowing i think it's very very important that not only men but our boys starting from the school age know about menstrual health and hygiene and it is not just a term or it is not just knowing about sanitary pads or knowing about the term periods but it is also about what women go through how much what is the pain what is the level of sanitation that they need because we have kept this issue as such a um, taboo in our society that uh, we are not even able to uh, discuss or take that name that okay we are going to buy a sanitary pad or we are uh, you know going and discussing about this in terms of our in front of our father or brothers or uh, you know just general men in our society so i think first of all it start it needs to start at home that we need to discuss this issue uh, overall and i would just i would request the mothers the new mothers and even uh, our our mothers the generation of that sort the sisters mothers in the family to bring this discussion up in the uh, and to make it very common like it is like any other condition that uh, anyone would have so just to normalize this condition at home i think it should start Start with that, and then uh, moving on to certain sex education classes in um, in our um, colleges and schools. Because uh, I still remember, uh, I still remember that uh, the biology class that we used to have, uh, that uh, you know people would laugh around it. So uh, it is not a situation to laugh, and we were just laughing because it was again not considered normal at our homes. so normalizing this idea of knowing about what a woman goes through in uh, terms of menstrual health and uh, in terms of uh, you know what uh, what should happen what what are the do's what are the don'ts how is the disposal uh, being created around it how is what is the relevance of diet and relevance of uh, you know we we constituted with mood swings but there's a lot more than mood swings associated with it what is the importance of because there's so much of blood loss that uh, obviously the the female needs that level up of hemoglobin into that sort so what needs to be inculcated in the diet what needs to be inculcated in the sanitation practices that is something that i think we need to normalize from homes and then obviously our schools and colleges come into the picture as you all know that uh, menstrual hygiene day is on the 28th may and uh, as a mass media and communication student i would like to know how much you know about it and when was the first time you know about it especially the guys so anyone who wants फर्स्ट टाइम तो जब अक्षय कुमार जी का वो देखा था ना एड जो कि क्या था वो हीरोगिरी फूफू करने में नहीं पैट देने में है तो तभी ये सब चीज़ें ज़्यादा पता चली और ऐसे ही है मतलब नहीं कभी ऐसे घर में तो बात नहीं हुई है हमें भी टी वी से ही पता लगा था कि कुछ गंदा कपड़ा वगैरह यूज़ करने से भी ये सब चीज़ें हो जाती हैं तो मतलब जो जिन लड़कियों पे वो प्रोवाइडेड नहीं है वो चीज़ें तो अक्षय कुमार जी ने उसमें ऐड में बताया था कि गंदा कपड़ा यूज़ नहीं करना चाहिए पैड यूज़ करना चाहिए बस उतना ही पता और ज़्यादा कुछ तो नहीं पता सेक्स एडुकेशन का तो नहीं पता लेकिन मुझे इस चीज़ की भनक तब लगी एक तो ये बात सच है कि फूफू वाला ऐड ठीक पर दूसरा मुझे ये तब पता लगा जब मेरी बहन मेरे से बहुत ज़्यादा क्लोज है तो वो मेरे को हर चीज़ कन्फ्रंट करती है तो मुझे उसके बारे में पता था तो मैं उसके लिए सैनिटरी पैड्स मैं मैं भी आज भी लाता हूँ तो मुझे उसका पता था और उसी ने मुझे सारी चीज़ें कन्फ्रंट किए कि ये क्या चीज़ें होती हैं अगर नहीं ठीक से हो तो पी होती है मतलब पोस्ट सिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिसऑर्डर होता है शायद एक उससे रिलेटेड भी चीज़ें हैं मैंस्ट्रल हाइजीन नहीं रहने से ये सब चीज़ें भी होती हैं तो वहाँ से मुझे ये सब चीज़ों का पता लगा गर्ल्स हैविंग मैंसूरेशन और समथिंग और यू जस्ट मेक फन ऑफ इट 
मजाक बनाने की कोई बात ही नहीं है रिस्पेक्ट ही करेंगे ऑब्वियसली ऑब्वियसली रिस्पेक्ट है वो नेचुरल चीज है उसमें क्या है उसमें फन बनाना है उसमें That is really good to know कि हमारे youngsters ये सोचते हैं तो let's just take a perspective from the girls too. So girls, how do you suffer your periods? Um, see, it's a natural process और ये हमारे uh, females की reproduction में बहुत ज़्यादा you know help करती है तो इसमें इसमें इतना ज़्यादा eyebrows raise करने की कोई भी बात नहीं है एंड हमें इस चीज़ को रिस्पेक्ट करना चाहिए हमें फीमेल्स को रिस्पेक्ट करना चाहिए बिकॉज वो जो भी कर रही हैं ऑब्वियसली हमारी जनरेशन आगे बढ़ाने के लिए कर रही हैं एंड वो इतना सब कुछ सफ़र कर रही हैं सो वी शुड रिस्पेक्ट दैट और हमें कभी भी इस चीज़ का मजाक नहीं बनाना चाहिए हमें कभी उन्हें डिमोटिवेट नहीं करना चाहिए एंड सोसाइटी में इस चीज़ को एक बहुत बड़ा ताबू की तरफ नहीं देखना चाहिए और इस चीज़ को नॉर्मलाइज कर देना चाहिए so uh, I was expecting this from Akanksha that she will give uh, such nice words but I would like to ask uh, these girls because they are coming from the school directly and as we all know from the school girls are very confused about periods and all because it's all new to them so let's just ask them hi my name is Dia and मेरा कोई ऐसा experience इतना इतना मुश्किल रहा नहीं क्योंकि हमें ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स सेवेंथ में ही बता दिया गया था क्या क्या होता है पूरी इन्फॉर्मेशन दी थी अबाउट पैड एंड मैंस्ट्रेशन सो जब मेरा पीरियड्स हुआ था तब मुझे पता भी नहीं था कि ये होता क्या है मैं तो डर गई थी तो अभी भी ऐसा होता है इंडिया में कि जो विलेज एरिया है वहाँ पर अभी भी शर्माते लोग बताते नहीं है लड़कियों को कि ऐसा हो जाता है कि लड़के के सामने नहीं बात करते भैया है पापा है ऐसे बात नहीं करते तो आई गेस उन्हें ये बात बताना चाहिए कि मतलब पहले जब उनका पीरियड स्टार्ट होगा उससे पहले ही उनको बताना चाहिए ये सब जरूर है चाहे वो लड़का है या लड़की कि एक दूसरे को हेल्प करो क्योंकि अभी भी ऐसे लोग हैं जो ल, जब लड़कियाँ पीरियड्स होती है तो मजाक उड़ाते हैं दैट दे आर ब्लीडिंग एंड ऑल तो ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए हेलो मेरा नाम रत्ना है यहाँ बात हो रही है हाइजीन इशू के बारे में मैंस्ट्रल हाइजीन इशू के बारे में जैसा कि दिया ने बताया कि उन्हें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुई थी उन्हें बता दिया गया था बट मैं बताना चाहती हूँ अभी तो मैं मास्टर्स में हूँ जब मैं ग्रेजुएशन में थी मैं एक लड़की हूँ जैसा मुस्कान ने पूछा इनसे मेल से कि क्या आपको पता है पीरियड्स के बारे में तो मैं तो एक लड़की हूँ हमारे टाइम में जब मैं ग्रेजुएशन में नहीं जब मैं नाइन्थ में थी जब मुझे पीरियड्स हुआ भी नहीं था तब तब भी मुझे एक लड़की होने के बाद भी नहीं पता था कि पीरियड्स होता क्या है वो टाइम ऐसा था और अब का टाइम ऐसा है जैसा दिया ने बोला कि भी वो ट्वेल्थ पास करके आई है और अभी उसे बताया जा रहा है तो ये चीज़ अच्छा लग रहा है जानकर कि अब लोग अवेयर हो रहे हैं इस चीज़ को लेके कि हाँ इस चीज़ को भी तवज्जो दी जाए इस चीज़ को लेके मजाक ना बनाया जाए क्योंकि इसमें लड़कियों को सच में बहुत पेन होता है और एक चीज़ और जो मैं बोलना चाहूँगी वो ये है कि पीरियड सारी लड़कियों को होता है बट ना सबका होने का तरीका बहुत अलग होता है किसी को बहुत लो पेन होता है किसी को बहुत ये तो हो गई ये लड़कियां जानती है बहुत अच्छे से बट पीरियड्स को लेके जो पहले मजाक उड़ाया जाता था और अब जो लड़कियों को बताया जा रहा है ये इस चीज़ को लेके मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा और मैं यही चाहूँगी कि आगे भी इस चीज़ को सपोर्ट किया जाए क्योंकि ये मजाक नहीं है ये कोई बीमारी नहीं है इसी से हम और आप हैं थैंक यू मैं एक्चुअल में लास्ट में ये कहना चाहूँगा कि जैसे इन्होंने अभी ये वो बताया कि जो एक अभी बहुत दर्दनाक हादसा हुआ पीछे देखिए अवेयर नहीं है इंसान लड़के अवेयर नहीं है और वो नहीं है अवेयर तो इसका मेन रीज़न क्या है कि वो लोग अपने कल्चर से भी अवेयर नहीं है हमारे कल्चर में इसकी रिस्पेक्ट की जाती है हमारे कल्चर में इसकी पूजा की जाती है माँ कामाख्या देवी उसी का एग्ज़ाम्पल है और जब पहला पीरियड किसी लड़की को आता तो उसको सेलिब्रेट किया जाता है कुछ कुछ कल्चर्स में ये भी होता है अगर आप लोग अपने कल्चर से ही अवेयर नहीं हैं तो आप कैसे उस चीज़ को जो है वो मानेंगे कैसे उस चीज़ के बारे में आप समझेंगे तो मेन थिंग मेरा लड़कों से यही है कि भाई अपने कल्चर को जानो अगर अपने कल्चर को जानोगे तो तुम समझ जाओगे कि पीरियड्स क्या चीज़ है दिस इज़ वेरी इम्प्रेसिंग टू नो कि लड़कों को भी इस बारे में इतना ज़्यादा पता है एंड दैट्स वेरी गुड टू नो फ्राम आशीष दैट ही इवन नो अबाउट कामाख्या माँ एंड सेलिब्रेटिंग पीरियड्स दिस इज़ वेरी enhanceful and also i would like to address about uh, what shivani said uh, that happened in thane uh, the girl died because of uh, just because she is having post periods and his brother didn't know about it and the shocking news uh, i want to add here is that uh, the guy was married still he didn't know about it so i guess we all should uh, 
enhance periods and normalize periods so, uh, right now we are in the dental department of sharda university and uh, here we are have mr shubham here we have mr shubham and uh, first of all thank you for giving this bite and i would like to ask you that what do you think about menstrual hygiene and when did you first know about it and what is your perspective um so i think that uh, menstrual hygiene is very important and uh, it's one of the more most uh, vital uh, events in a uh, female's life and uh, uh, if we ignore it then it can lead to various diseases which can be li life threatening i first uh, came to know, uh, know about it in class 8th through our textbooks and our teachers and uh, since then we ha we have been taught more and more about it and uh, during my mbbs days Uh, i have known more about it and uh, know it and now everyone knows its importance and uh, it's not negligible and we should uh, and i think that everybody uh, should uh, know some or the know something or at least the basic about it so uh, so that uh, awareness can be spread in more and more people from you i would like to ask when did you came to know it first and what is your perspective uh, i came to know uh, when i am in 8th i think it's a, a normal routine of a female it's not a taboo it's a gift from the god to give birth uh, that's why the menstruation exists uh, and uh, hygiene is the most important thing in the menstrual cycle uh, and uh, the government of india is trying its best to maintain hygiene uh, by supplying sanitary pads and uh, making it tax low and uh, it's really important to maintain hygiene and uh, to not uh, made that social dilemma thank you uh, so as a female i consider them that uh, they know a lot about menstruation but from them i would like to ask uh, that uh, as these guys said that it is normal but we all know that it is not like in rural areas it is still a taboo so i would like to know from these girls that what they think about the rural people and the females वट आई फील इज़ कि पेरेंट्स को थोड़ा ओपन अप होने की ज़रूरत है इस्पेशली आर फादर्स कि जैसे कभी भी हम सैनिटरी पैड्स लेने भी जाते हैं तो हमें हमेशा छुप कर छुप कर या किसी पॉलिथिन में लाना पड़ता है तो आई थिंक दिस शुड भी रिमूव ये कोई टैबू या कोई प्रॉब्लमेटिक चीज़ नहीं है इट्स नेचुरल इट्स नॉर्मल सो सबको ओपन अप होने की ज़रूरत है So uh, I have Ritika Vadas and Prajwal they are the law students from Sharda University and they are going to tell us about the menstrual uh, hygiene in perspective of a law student so Ritika your views as a law student i would like to highlight the national health and welfare um, Kami, committee is uh, conducting a scheme that is on uh, menstrual health bahut ye hum logo ko pata nahi hai lekin gaon mein ye ek major problem hota hai ki pads bahut mehanga hota hai and they don't want to buy it to hum log kya kar rahe hai ki har ek government store mein even medical workers bas 6 rupaye mein ek ek packet pad de rahe hai jo ki gaon ke aurton ke लिए बहुत ही ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि उस टाइम पे कॉटन यूज़ करना कैन बी रियली हार्मफुल फॉर देयर हेल्थ एंड दिस इज अ स्टेप टूवर्ड्स देयर गुड हेल्थ व्हिच गवर्नमेंट हैज़ टेकन सो या एज अ लॉ स्टूडेंट आई विल आई विल रियली सपोर्ट इट एंड आई विल ट्राई टू लेट ऑल द पीपल नो अबाउट दिस स्कीम सो नेक्स्ट अप वी हैव विद अस डॉक्टर शिशिर कुमार सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर शारदा स्कूल ऑफ फिल्म मीडिया एंड एंटरटेनमेंट एंड नाउ विल टेक सम male perspective about menstrual hygiene from him first of all welcome sir and uh, i would like to have a few uh, points on menstrual hygiene from uh, uh thank you uh, whenever going to talk about the menstruation cycle uh for me it is not new things it is not the like the hawa thing okay the in our societies most of people think is that this uh, menstruation cycle is like oh how ye kya ho gaya in all matlab we are very hesitate our uh, sisters our uh, mothers our uh, all women those who are suffered uh, with the this kind of the things the hesitate do not hesitate ha na please create the uh, a good environment in your family 
है ना दिस इज नॉट अ डिजीज है ना दिस इज नॉट द एच आई वी डिजीज कि ये क्या हो गया हम ये क्या हो रहा है इट्स नेचुरल थिंग्स एंड नेचुरल कॉल और आपने बड़ी अच्छी क्वेश्चन है और इस पर एक मूवी आई थी पैडमैन और उसने पूरा चीज़ों को सिखाया बताया कि मतलब ये कितना इम्पोर्टेंस है इसको हाइजीनिक तरीके से इसको ट्रीट करने का है ना पहले इसमें रूलर्स एरिया में दे यूज द कॉटन्स दे यूज कपड़ा मतलब वो भी कपड़ा ऐसे नहीं होते थे कि मतलब जो हाइजीनिक हो सो so, ये चीज़ें मतलब वी मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट दैट कि कितना डेंजर हो सकता है सो so, ये एक नेचुरल कॉल है और इन साउथ जो फर्स्ट मैं होता है किसी भी लड़की को किसी के डॉटर्स को दे सेलिब्रेट है ना यस इट इज़ अ मैटर ऑफ दे सेलिब्रेट आप ये सोचो कि अगर किसी लड़की को मैं ना हो वो कितना बड़ा बिग इशूज है वो कभी माँ नहीं बन सकती है ना फॉर द फर्टिलाइजेशन फॉर एक्स वाई एक्स फर्टिलाइजेशन द मैंसुरेशन प्ले ए मेजर रोल सो डू नॉट मेक द हुआ यस being a parents being a brother being a family member you should treat with a as a common thing yes you should be vigilant about that it's your duties during the menstruation period those who are affected with it so please uh, help them and treat it in a normal way ha na so uh, don't take the otherwise and don't create the cause and don't be shy about that yes please uh, vocal for it thank you Thank you so much, sir, for giving your precious time. So now we have uh, Dr. Ruchi Shrivastav, senior gynecologist, Sharda Hospital, with us. First of all, I would like to welcome you, ma'am, and thank you so much for giving your time for in such a short notice. Uh, I would like to ask you a few questions about menstrual health and hygiene, as we know that 28 May is World Menstrual Hygiene Day. so what are your perspectives ma'am on menstrual hygiene and uh, what uh, men should be aware about it thank you so much uh, it is my pleasure to be the part of this menstrual hygiene day which is on 28th may 2023 uh, first of all i would like to share that in india this is one of the most important topic which has come up and uh, been uh, tackled for so many years and has been taken up as a taboo so this day is celebrated for the awareness of the menstruation and the hygiene about it and what else can be dealt with it and how we can make others like the other gender the male part to be, uh, to understand the problems of the females so to start with we no need to understand that the menstruation which the female has it in her life for the first time is called as menarche and that is around 11 to 12 years it can be at 10 years also a little later two or three years one there this or that that side so once it has started the care has to be told to the girl from there onwards rather she has to be told by her mother or any other female in the family who understand these problems and uh, can uh, share with her she should be told about the menstruation how it starts so whenever a girl is having a menstruation a hygiene has to be maintained in a very proper way for example if she is using a cloth in the house or it has to be a clean cloth because not all females can afford sanitary pads if they can afford sanitary pads that would be the best thing because they are hygienically very clean so and if a pad or a cloth is being used it has to be changed every 4 to 6 hours because there is a lot of chance that the bacterial infection can take place if it has been worn for a longer time for more than 8 or 12 hours so uh, Uh, more uh, over like this menstruation usually takes place around 5 days in every month so the taboo in our country is that when a girl is having menstruation she is not allowed in some parts of a country and it is still there because i see the patients in the opd and they tell me that uh, these are the things which they are following in the house and it is to my surprise they are not allowed to go to the kitchen they can't handle the pickles they can't go to mandir even mandir and temples in a in a upper class families they are not allowed to follow there so it is not about uh, menstruation and relation to all these things because 
it is a natural thing which is happening in the body and a girl is actually blessed to have menstruation because this is the god's grace or a gift to her because she is going to her reproductive life very nicely she is going to reproduce this it signifies this thing so maintaining the hygiene during these period time is important and when as i said every 4 to 6 hours the pads to be changed so it is not only about changing the pads because once she is going to the washroom she is changing she two important things we need is water and sanitary pad so a cleaning is important with the water it's not always with soap just cleaning with water and just wipe it uh, wipe uh, wipe it out and make it dry and wear the pad and secondly uh, if she is uh, having a period or uh, if there is any kind of a disturbance in the period she has to see the doctor and uh, meet her doctor uh, tell anything any girl because they are very shy they do not share these things with their family members as well so the mother should uh, have confidence the girl should have confidence in a mother the mother should explain her all these things and at any point of time if there is any itching any problem any discharge kind of a thing she should share it with some other female in the family if she is married she should share with the husband and the husbands and the male partners or the male members in the family should also understand the problem if they are facing or they are going through what i said if she is changing the pad it should not be thrown open in the dustbin it should always be wrapped properly in the newspaper and then it should be thrown because we have street dogs which are moving we have stray dogs and if the the packet or the dustbin which has been uh, the packet is thrown on the road or the outside so it it causes a lot of infection and uh, the bacterial infections can can happen to others also so in the last i would say that uh, menstrual hygiene awareness is important whoever understands about the hygiene problem should share with the friends with the family members even the boys should understand about the menstruation if it is not a taboo it is not a problem every female has a right to have it it is a god gifted thing and then they should not be restricted to particular thing for 5 days they can have anything even these days the girls go for swimming because there are other products uh, like uh, the menstrual cup which can be used which are very environment friendly because there is you can you don't have to discard the pads in those cases because these menstrual cup you can just flush it off the blood can be flushed off through the flushed off and then it can be washed again properly and can be worn so there are other things like tampons also but then tampons again have to be removed every 6 hours and uh, so the maintenance of the hygiene is important so uh, first of all i would like to thanks all of the people who took this initiative and took a part in this campaign first of all i want to say that normalize periods because periods it's not a taboo menstruation is such a god gift for every women so please normalize the periods and secondly i want to give a special thanks to dr ruchi shrivastav who gave her precious time to us and told us about how menstruation is important and how we can make it more hygienic and at last i would like to uh, thanks to dean ma'am of sharda school of media film and entertainment for giving us this opportunity for making this menstrual hygiene day a little more valuable and i would like to wish everyone a very happy and healthy menstrual hygiene day and i wish that every girl should have a healthy period thank you so much and i hope we'll meet again